Okay, so we just watched the video, um, and we haven't even actually talked about it, but can you give me two things that you thought were interesting in the video, or that you, you thought mm -hmm. we should talk about? Well, uh, I thought his entire, like, his entire method was useful, but maybe, f like, focusing, focusing on the sum, not the product. Okay. Um, let's see. I thought maybe looking at the average was interesting. Okay. How about you? Um, it was interesting that it works, it works for every solvable quadratic, I guess. Wait, what do you mean by solvable? Well, every quadratic with, I guess it could work, it, it might work with complex roots, but I guess it works, it works for every quadratic. Okay, well, yeah, we should test an example with complex roots and see mm -hmm. if it still works. Okay, good. Um, and I guess it's just, it uses pretty simple ideas. Just the, the, I think the most complicated thing it uses is difference of squares. Okay, but so simple. It's just simple. You thought it was interesting that it would be used simple ideas. Okay, so maybe what we should do <coughs> is just first work through um, a, an example where we know the roots like he did. So just give me two numbers that we can have as the roots. Maybe... Negative five and three. Okay, so this will be x plus five times x minus three. What does this multiply out to be? So our roots are negative five and three. X, x squared plus two x minus 15. Okay, and so we know the sum of the roots to be is what? Two. Well, actually, no, no, no. The sum of yeah. the roots is? Wouldn't it be two? Not quite. You're right that the two comes into play, but we know what the roots are. Negative. What's their sum? It has to be negative two. Negative two. Okay, so do you remember why it's negative two, not two, from the from this? Uh, because this was this is actually the negative of the sum of the roots. That's right. So the sum of the roots, when we had it in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, the sum was negative two over there. Yeah. yeah. So the sum is negative two. The average then because what? It would be negative one. Negative one. And the product is what? It would be ne um, negative 15. Negative 15. So the sum comes from this term, but it's the negative of it. And the negative. product comes from this term, and it matches. Yeah. Okay, so what do we do next now that we know this? Yeah. Um, look at the... So we're going to look, look at how far the roots are away from the average. Okay. So we know... So we know one root is negative one. We know one root is negative one plus something. Something. It's called Z. Mm -hmm. And the other root is mm -hmm. negative one minus, minus Z. Z. So they're Z. the same distance away from minus mm -hmm. one. Okay. So then we multiply this out. All right. And what do we get? And we get so we get minus one squared. So one um, mm -hmm. minus Z squared. And that equals, equals zero. That's good equal to the, the, this is the uh, product of the product. Product that equals 15. Negative 15. Negative 15. Oh, yeah, we said the product. I wrote 15, but I meant negative yeah. 15. All right, negative 1 minus e squared equals negative 15. So we can flip this around. Yeah, I got to scoot over just a little bit. Sorry. So okay. we can move the 15 to this side and move the z to the other side. And we say 16 equals z squared. So z is plus or minus 4, and whichever way you plug that into here is going to give you that. So I get negative 1 plus 4, which is 3, and negative 1 minus 4, which is negative 5. Negative 5. Alright. So, do you want to try to do it with, with the general equation in the last right. video? Okay. Alright, let's see if we can, let's see if we can work through that. 